Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Here at the garage, we have the 2021 Volkswagen Jetta 1.4 liter turbo with a manual transmission test driving this week. So now we can have a look under the hood and go over all the important service points as well as the major components. The 2021 Volkswagen Jetta we tested features their latest generation EA211 1.4 liter turbocharged and direct injected four cylinder engine, here mated to a six speed manual transmission. In this car, the engine is rated at 147 horsepower and has 184 pound feet of torque. The EPA rates the 1.4 liter powered Jetta at 30 miles per gallon city, 41 miles per gallon highway, and 34 miles per gallon combined, running on regular unleaded gas. The engine features aluminum block and head with an integrated exhaust manifold, a tooth rubber timing belt, dual overhead cams, and has variable intake and exhaust timing. In this Volkswagen model, the engine is manufactured in Brazil. Following the airflow, the intake charge begins behind the grill and feeds into a large air filter box at the front driver's side of the engine compartment. From there, it travels to the rear of the engine through a duct to a compact single swirl turbocharger with an electronically controlled wastegate. Boosted air then travels forward through a duct and directly into the intake manifold, which features an integrated air to water intercooler. This arrangement reduces plumbing associated with air to air intercoolers and is said to reduce turbo lag as a result. It's also less expensive. At the head, you can see four coil packs for its spark plugs. The fuel injector system is largely hidden below the valve cover and intake apparatus. Once the air passes through the head into the combustion chambers, it then exits to the single scroll turbocharger and out to the catalyst and exhaust system. When it comes to maintenance, the 1.4 liter Jetta is largely straightforward. The cooler reservoir can be found at the passenger side of the engine compartment near the firewall and its level can be easily seen. The oil level dipstick is located at the front of the engine with a bright yellow hook and the oil filler cap right next to it. The oil filter must be accessed from below the car. Checking the brake fluid is done at the driver's side firewall, a little tricky to get to but easily seen. Next to it is the 12 volt battery nicely wrapped in an insulation jacket. To the right of that is the engine control unit and to the right of it is the main fuse box. You can access them by popping the two clips to open it up. The windshield washer fluid is checked at the driver's side of the front engine bay, easily seen with a bright blue cap. Changing the air filter does require tools, the air box sealed tight with a number of Torx bit screws. Other items of note include the ABS brake system controller located at the passenger side firewall, not really a service maintenance item, but there it is. Shock towers and access to the struts is hidden away under plastic covers at the base of the windshield. All right, my friends, pretty straightforward under the hood of the 1.4 liter Jetta. I know a lot of you out there who own these cars like to service them yourselves. I'm a Volkswagen owner. I service my own always because this dealership is not the place to go after you're out of warranty. So there it is. I said it. Now, if you want to see the test drive we did on this car, you can click right there to see that or better yet, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there and you'll be notified of everything we do. Good day.